girls, it's Friday and today I'm wearing my pyjamas because, let's face it, pyjamas are awesome! 5, 4, three, two, one. What could I have to use for a tripod? That's pathetic. This video comes in three parts. Part one, Valentine's Day. Part two, I make a complete fool out of myself. And part three, book update. So the theme for this week is what we would do if Edward was our date on Valentine's Day. And I'm really paranoid about my fringe, but I'm okay. Now, I had some trouble coming up with this because if I was going on a date with Edward Cullen, I think it would probably go something like this. Yeah, but I have racked my brains and come up with an idea. I think I would like to go camping. So Edward would pick me up and roll us to some idyllic location. Should that be idyllic? Idyllic, idyllic, I don't know. Interpret it as you will. And then we would listen to music and read books and probably check YouTube. I'm sorry, that's all I could come up with. Talking of Valentine's Day, I actually got one this year. It was loads of sweets wrapped in a napkin, <laughs> which was just like the best thing that anyone could ever give me. And it was in a totally non-romantic, friendly way, but I could eat it, so that doesn't really matter. So, thank you. Part two. I really regret doing this. I wasn't actually planning on it, but someone commented and said they couldn't wait for the Edward look after I did my Charlie moustache thing. And so when YouTube asked, Irrevocably in love, five delivers. So here we go. Welcome to Makeup Tutorials with Alice Cullen. You may have been misinformed. You might think we're going to be doing an Edward look today, but that proved to be far too advanced and needs a professional makeup artist to complete. So instead, we're going to attempt a Jacob look after he's phased. Again, all you'll need is eyeliner. And we're going to begin with drawing some whiskers just here. Like that. And again, repeating it on the other side. And uh, also to finish off the wolf look, we're going to just shade in the tip of the nose here and draw some scary sharp wolf teeth. And so that's your a Jacob look. Again, a fantastic everyday one. You don't have to worry about looking stupid because it just blends in so seamlessly with your makeup. And it's just something to add on to make it a bit more quirky. So that's your Jacob look. And I'm afraid this marks the end of Alice Cullen's makeup tutorials. Part three. Now, I don't really like to leave books without finishing them, but sometimes you have to let a book go, and The Rare of the Ancient Mariner was, unfortunately, one of those books. It was the most boring thing I have ever read. Ever. So now I'm reading The It Girl by Cecily von Ziegesar. It's not exactly challenging, hard-going literature material, but it's addictive and it's fun and it's giving my brain a rest from horrible critical essays so I like it. My friend is having a party this weekend and me and another of my friends have decided that we're going to go fancy dress even though it's not fancy dress. So I'm going as a green fairy and my friend James told me to find something pirate related so will this be okay? Thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe and I will see you next Friday. Shelby, I'll see you on Monday. Oh, and I forgot to say in last week's video, Katie from Team Twilighter has been commenting on all our videos, and she's like one of my YouTube heroes, so this has made me really happy. So just thank you so much for supporting us, Katie, and I love your videos. Like, Tuesday is my favourite day on Team Twilighter, so... Yay! <laughs>